show. This morning out on the plaza, Al made a classic weather pun. January is the snow. snow. Yes. Charlie, tell Kenneth here why you know so much about NBC. Well, you have to know how something works if you're going to strip it for parts. What? Broadcast television is dying. The only move is to shut down the network, pull the copper out of the walls, and turn this building into a Forever 21. When Boston Pizza asked Terry Peters to reinvent the chicken wing, Terry Peters did what Terry Peters always does. What you do, Terry? Thank you for asking! Terry Peters gave him all meat wings! Very nice. I know. Yeah. What? We're gonna have to let you go. Linda? 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 Get in here! Get in here, I'm the boss. Take a look at this. Duvet striations. See all the twisting here? Uncontrollable leg movement. Yeah, that'd be my guess. Oh, Lord Dave, we have prepared our souls for the journey to Nambutar. Oh, oh, do you not all see what Lord Dave is doing? He is testing us to ensure that our souls are cleansed for the journey. <laughs> you nailed it, man. That's exactly what I'm doing. Nice. There's a smile. Okay, peace out. Thank you. I killed my whole family this morning. Oh, man, I'm sorry. The Onion News Network's Tucker Hope sat down to answer some of your burning questions. You know, I have a, a background as an amateur touchscreen enthusiast, and I never in a million years thought that I would be using it for news, and uh, that's just a, it's a dream come true. Thank you very much, Brooke. We have some more news now on those seven snowmobilers from Ohio. Sadly, they are still not lost in the wilderness due to the storm, and despite the heavy snow and poor visibility, they continue to whip around on their stupid snowmobiles and act like a bunch of jerks. Uh, the safety of genetically modified food is once again being called into question after an ear of corn begged for death. Just goes to show you, Tucker, that people will complain about anything. Yes, they will. Well, Tucker, it's been kind of a banner week for you, hasn't it? In addition to this gig as the host of the Teen Choice Awards, you've also been named Teen People's Cutest Guy Alive. Oh, you don't have which to. Which I find kind of interesting since I've never thought of you as much of a ladies' man. Well, that's because I'm very faithful to Jody. Yeah, I've never met this Jody of yours. Well, she's very busy teaching yoga all around the world. Okay. You're sure about this, right? You really want to get married right here at Dreamland today. <laughs> After your wedding, we will add your success story to the wall of truth. Ah, the wall of truth. It's right next to the hall of celebrity narcissists. <laughs> oh, your marriage will be a testament to Dreamland's record of healing. Oh, we are healed. Whoa. Uh, thank well, you. That's, uh, that's one way to scramble them. <laughs> Cook quit. Not every day you see the boss out grocery shopping. I know you. You're the lawyer that helped us finalize the deal to take over Al's. You're right. Any way I could get you to unfinalize it? Matter of fact, coincidentally, I was just on my way to see you at Al's. The big guy's nephew got in touch with me last night, said he's interested in buying the diner. Today we are going to discuss Vyvanse, the first pro-drug stimulant for treating patients with ADHD. In the United States, an average of 300 people are injured and 80 people are killed each year by lightning. Although most lightning victims survive, they often report a variety of long-term debilitating symptoms. 80% of crashes and 65% of near crashes involve some form of driver distraction. Want to know the principal actions that lead to the crashes? Reaching for a moving object inside the vehicle. Reading, texting, twittering. Or personal grooming. Brushing up on those survival skills, Brad? Well, enjoy your uh, dinner. And next time, make sure you're prepared if your car breaks down. See you next time and stay safe. <laughs>